Hello Twin Flames, it's New Year's Eve, thank you for being here, sending you so much love, thank you for liking, subscribing, commenting and being here in 2021 and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because in 2022 we're going to be here for you every day. So I'm wearing a bit of bling today, I'm excited, it's New Year's Eve so let's celebrate in style. So I'm going to bring in three powerful decks of cards today. I'm really excited about these decks as well because these are so powerful and these are by our soul sister Sharif from Divine Visions. So we've got Divine Confessions of a Broken Heart and we've got this powerful yin and yang deck, this is the Lover's Oracle and the Divine Chakra Messages because I really feel that things are being aligned within us right now as we move into 2022 so you're going to feel this transition. You're already going to be feeling the power, but you're going to feel the shift and the transition as we move forward now. And obviously, we're all going to come into the new year at different times all over the world. So happy new year whenever it flows in for you. And expect magic and miracles and mission in your 2022. So let's see what we need to know. So thank you, angels. What's the energy, please, around the connection today? Straight out the deck on the floor there. The energy around the Divine Feminines, got two cards, and the energy around the Divine Masculines. Wow, it just jumped out of the deck there for the Divine Masculine. And this is the messages for everyone, for the connection, okay, for Masculine and Feminine. What's going on with the Divine Feminine today? Okay, let me just take a bit of time because these are round cards. Don't want to drop them everywhere. So what's the energy there? He says that's the Divine Feminine energy today. And what's the divine masculine energy today? What's it? There it is, okay. And what's the divine feminine energy today, please, angels? The divine feminine. So this is going to go into the darkness as well and maybe some fears coming up as we move into the new year. And the energy around the divine masculine today, what do we need to know? And with this one, I'm going to do the energy of the connection. There it is, wow, okay. Yeah, no, yeah, go on, I'll do it. one of these for the connection as well, why not? So let's start with the energy of the connection today then. So the first thing we've got coming through is, I wish I could tell you how I truly feel, but these feelings I have for you scare me. So there's some intensity around today as we move into the new year, and the feelings won't be scaring everyone, but I feel if your masculine's taking a little bit longer to wake up, it's feeling very intense and scary, and Again, the feeling, the heat, so there's a lot of passion and desire and excitement as we move into the new year. But there's also that pain because they want to be spending their New Year's Eve with you. So again, there's this feeling of, I need to get through this. I need to just get through this. So, you know, the new year is here and there's no kind of need to be there anymore. So he's getting through it again. We've got the light aspect is, I love being in your company and I can't wait to see you again. So you're both feeling that way. You're both excited because you know that you're going to see each other again. You know, it's it's kind of, you know, one of those things that's just meant to be. You know, it's undeniable. The bond, the connection, the feeling. There's just, there's no way you can't like stay away from each other. You know, there's no way you're going to stay away from each other. That's what the angels are saying. So you know that you're going to be together. It's imminent. And that's the word they're giving me. So I love being in your company. I love spending time with you. And I can't wait to see you again. But the dark side of that is I miss you so much right now. So on this day, New Year's Eve 2021, you're missing them right now. And even though you know you're going to be together, it doesn't really help. It doesn't really take that pain away. So the angels are acknowledging the way you feel today and saying it's okay to feel that. You know, it's okay to allow yourself to be in that energy for a little while, but also to look on the bright side because, you know, with the light there's, is the power, there's always a darkness. So we overcome the darkness with the light. So think, okay, I'm missing him right now. I aren't with him right now, but it's going to be so much better in the future. So think about, you know, next year and how you want it to be. So power. And I feel that I feel a lot of you will be seen in 2023 actually with your twin. And it's worth waiting for. It so is. You know, as a twin flame in union, hands on heart, 
all of the New Year's Eves I spent alone, craving, wishing, wanting, was worth the wait for the New Year's Eve that I now have and the one I'm going to have tonight with my twin George. So really powerful. The energy is I am building my career in finances and financial security is important to me. So you're being reminded that as we're on the precipice of a new year, you're also thinking, both of you are thinking about stability and security in the future. You know, career finances making this happen. Because in the real world, that matters. You know, it's not just about the love and the feelings. It's about making it work. And it's about the security and the life that you want together and how you want to live your lives too. The type of life you want to share. So this is as well about, you know, changing what you're doing to focus on service. So again, this is very much about leaving the past behind releasing the old to start the new so i feel as we're moving into the new year this is intentions being set financial intentions career goals you know projects things we're wanting to bring into 2022 very powerful i will provide a solid foundation for us i will always be someone you can rely on so your masculine wants you to rely on them and be able to and you don't need anyone to rely on you know, you're a strong, independent, dynamic, divine feminine, but that's a masculine thing. You're saying, I want you to be able to rely on me. I want to provide a solid foundation for us. So again, you're being reminded that these things are being built right now and they're being built on rock and stone, which is solid. You know, it's not going to crumble away like sand does. So things are becoming a lot more concrete in 2022. When I'm with you, I feel so complete. I don't want for anything else. So, you know, you're happy when you're together. You're content when you're together without the drama. You know, you're not content with each other if there's pain and drama and struggle and, you know, negativity. But when you're feeling at peace with each other and calm and, you know, there's nothing outside affecting you, it feels very beautiful. And that's what he's saying. When I'm with you, I feel complete. It feels right. He may have even said that to you. And if he hasn't, he will do. With you, it's right. Especially if he's with a karmic partner. He'll say to you, with you, it feels right. It feels how it's supposed to. I have an insatiable desire for you. Well, this has been building and building and building over the last few days. I crave you. I want to seduce you and caress your body all over. So he wants you. He wants you all over. And... You know, the energy yesterday from the Divine Feminine was, choose me. You know, I crave you, I want you. So again, there's this desire. So don't feel like it's all one-sided because it absolutely is not. On New Year's Eve 2021, you are wanting each other and you're craving each other and you're feeling that more than ever. So you may be feeling the heat. You'll never have to fear anything with me because I will keep you safe and secure. This is the promise of the future. You know, and honestly, in union, everything you've been afraid of, all the pain, all the struggle, all the, the little insecurities, they just dissipate. You know, and especially if there's an age gap or something like that, it does not even affect me and George. You know, I don't look at George and think, oh, he's 19 years younger than me. And he doesn't look at me and think, wow, Liz is in the 40s. We just, each, you know, we just gel. We're just there and... It just works. And that's how it will be with your twin. So there'll be no fear. That fear will go. And this is what's happening as we're moving into the new year. That's why it's come out now. Because the fear's dissipating. And they know that they'll be safe and secure with you. And you know that you'll be safe and secure with them because you're releasing the fears. Expect an invitation to my home. I want to make you a delicious dinner. Well, that came out in November in a reading, talking about having a meal together and spending time together. So expect an invitation. This is, again, that element of surprise, and they give me fear. Maybe that's brought some fear up because you're thinking, I don't know how to cook very well. Or what if I mess it up? Or what if I make a dinner and he doesn't come? So again, there's fear. We're releasing fear around that. But I feel this is what's coming in the new year. You know, maybe some of you tonight are actually spending time with your twin. Maybe you're cooking them a delicious dinner or you're going out for a meal. 
or you're meeting up for a couple of hours before you know you see the new year in whatever you're doing tonight he wishes he could be with you and you were creating a delicious dinner or even he was cooking for you you know it doesn't always have to be the divine feminine waiting on the divine masculine you know or having a takeaway or you know netflix and chill so this is what he wants but he's saying to you expect me expect me an invitation to my home to be with me so again this is about coming into union coming to a home and yesterday we had that beautiful message you, you know you're almost there you're nearly there so this is about the future living together being together sharing time together doing normal things together you have helped me face my fears so there's that gratitude for each other as each other's greatest teacher i'm building my courage to commit to you and this is the truth you know the energy of 2023 and 2024 is all about commitment and marriage this year 2022 it's all about service and making a commitment to service and coming into union and being together that's what's important this year some of you will get a ring on your finger but it's more likely that commitment this year is to actually be together and say okay we are a couple we're in union and nothing else matters and that's what matters not the ring on your finger it's more important he takes the one off that's already on there look at this from the masculine to the feminine don't ever stop shining your light it's so beautiful so your masculine is saying thank you for loving me thank you for shining your light it's so beautiful it's everything i want and i love that we've got this yellow energy because yellow is the feminine energy to the masculine you know yellow is the sunlight and beauty and it's so powerful because i've always loved yellow you know i've always used yellow hearts and you know i've got my little yellow sunshine because sunshine is my guardian angel and i've got my little sunshine bear here and you know george said to me not long ago to be honest because he's always loved blue and i've always seen blue as a very masculine color he sees yellow as a feminine color and i'm like wow we have to come together to understand these things and the masculine is saying you're the sunlight i want you to be proud of me and i'm working hard on myself so he's saying thank you for you know allowing me to learn the lessons in 2021 I'm working hard on myself on improving myself and the light aspect is it's time we got out and had fun so he's saying it's time we do something together it's time we go out we have fun and we just live our lives and we're playful and tap in with our inner child that's what he wants to do and things have been way too serious lately so the dark aspect is the seriousness you know it's been too serious it's been stressful you know he's been in fear and regret and pain and now he's saying oh it's just time to put the past behind us now and have some fun so there's more of a light-hearted energy coming into this new year you know whereas the the christmas period in december it's been very stressful especially for the masculine energy and we've got here i have been escaping into things i shouldn't so i feel this has been what's happened over christmas time maybe he's had too much to drink he's been drinking alcohol maybe he does drugs or he's been overeating or gambling even buying too much you know you know what that means to you but he's saying i've been escaping into things i shouldn't maybe he's even buried his head in the sand in his karmic situation over the christmas period and that's now what he's apologizing for and he's saying let's just wipe the slate clean and start again and that's the energy coming through for the new year so feminine look at this i'm healing my heart please be patient with me and i feel this is what you're saying to your masculine because you're healing your heart you know they've hurt you they've hurt you and you know pained you and it's grown you but it still hurts it doesn't take the pain away saying oh well it's grown you you know i don't want you to think that that's all i ever say you know oh, well what will hurt you grows you because you feel it's on a very deep level and archangel raphael comes in to heal your heart so you're also saying to your masculine as you move into the future union togetherness talking please be patient with me you know please be patient with me i forgive you it may take a little bit of time to just be able to open my heart back up fully and the masculine understands that too and look at this you were life nurturing force my reason for being on earth so you know you're saying to your masculine 
you're you're why I'm here. You're one of the main reasons I've come. So obviously you have a mission anyway as a light worker, but you also know your twin flame journey is part of that purpose. Together we will experience many lives and spread healing across humanity because we are earth angels, earth stars. So you know that you're in the world, but you're not of the world. And you're saying to your masculine, you know, we have a mission. This is about mission as you move into the new year. How powerful. Together we will experience many lives here and spread healing across humanity because we are earth angels. And we are life nurturing energy. We are here for a reason on earth. Very powerful. And we've got here, do you think of me? So, you know, you may even be thinking about this today. You know, do you think of me? If you're masculine silent or you're still in separation, let this boy your faith. There's so much power flowing in as we move into the new year. So much power. And if you've watched the January horoscope readings, which I've shared today, you know, very powerful because it's showing you what's to come, the light and the magic and the power. So what's been healed for the feminine, I'm taking everything personally. So the dark aspect of today is you may take it personally if they don't wish you a happy new year or they're spending time with their karmic partner or they're not around. But the light aspect is, I feel secure that not everything is about me or a reflection of who I am. So you're being reminded it's not about you, it's what he's dealing with. Remember, if he's trapped in a karmic situation, he's trapped into doing whatever he needs to do there. So don't take it personally. He may just be busy, his phone might not be around him. Okay? He may be overindulging, he may have had too much to drink and he can't focus on his phone screen. You know, so try and think outside the box here. So feel secure in yourself, knowing that everything is not about you. You know, or it's not a reflection of you because you are beautiful and strong and powerful. And the angels want you to know that. So be patient with yourself today. Be good to yourself. You know, before union, what I love to do on New Year's Eve was seeing the new year with candlelight and talking to heaven. You know, rather than watching films or getting drunk or anything like that, which I used to do years ago. But, you know, the last, I'd say it was like four years before union, I saw the new year and doing myself cards and lighting candles and speaking to the angels and being ready for the new year ahead and there's power flowing it. And it just feels like there's such magic ahead for you and the angels want you to know that. And I really do set the intention for all of you to come into union and I'll be setting that intention tonight when I light my candles and talk to my guides and speak to my mum and the angels so trust the journey you are loved and safe there's so much power coming in you're almost there happy new year sending you so much love and I'll see you in 2022